Wow! Our father, our grandfather, he the page in our look there, up by the Sun Roy of Loud, Roy Tiani. Sun Roy of Loud, honest to God. The page there, and a big man. Tommy was his name, Tommy. And his son, and I'm a Tommy, he's a Johnny. But honest to God, you did your own vegetables and all. And during the war years, so we were never there hungry or that, for want of a better word. You don't have to look at us to know that. We were never, never. Yeah. Thank <laughs> God. And you were saying there were great days in those days, Johnny. Thank you, Frank. You really enjoyed those days in Dublin. Oh, well, well, absolutely. Yeah, it, did, it, did, it wasn't uh, no, all Dale no, McLeon, no, it should have wasn't. No, 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 we and we were happy the, in their heart. Yeah, and they're happy. The best thing you see, uh, there was none of that involved. Drink. Yeah. Ah, not at all. We I've been the eldest. We were 16. This is January. <laughs> Then the Alice and the point of Guinness at that time was a point of playing power. Uh, Sixpence. I mean, it's not, it's round now. No. You won't be saving all these stories. Speak up. Oh. No, you can't speak loud with the microphone. I'm letting people know what I'm saying. Wait till it's on. And then tell your stories. Oh, it's yeah. on all the time, no, you gabbo. We don't oh fight, boy, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Would you it's believe? Like, what do you think the chap is doing no. there? That man's supposed to say, go. No, well, you said it earlier, lad. Did you? You're not a being a snake. God. Sorry, Susan, don't give Johnny any more whiskey. I'm the shy one. Don't give him any more whiskey. I'm the shy one. Ah, no. Um, Johnny, what did you say? Oh, yeah. We're well, getting back to reality, going back at work. Yeah. And he's all out the mansion. Six after a week's work. Now this is this is genuine, it's not making you up or not. No. After a week's work, a point in the joke. You might not have that story. A point in the joke. Me being the eldest, right. Six was a point. Plain powder. Timothy O'Brien. Shake it. Speak easy. Down in uh Hillstreet. Hillstreet. Right. Don't be contradicting your elders. <laughs> Down in the hills, please. You know what I mean? But anyway, it could have been hard, but it was good times. You know what I mean? When I got married first, I lived with Kitty's mother and I loved two lovely, lovely people. And she, one sister, not married, living with her mummy and daddy, and Charlie Donnelly, her brother. And I come in from only at getting out for a ramble and Mr. Donnelly asked me to go for a walk down to Hanover Lane. And it was my piece of heaven on earth. I loved it. There's no they they bought the house when his mother was a young woman and it was her who died at age eighty eight years of age. And uh, Tommy and my father came down he said to me, This is yours and Kitty's to me said when I went down it's just the the very words I said to myself was, I looked at her and I said, never, without even thinking. So the next day I told my father, and he said, Johnny, you're never married, you have your own little place, and then you can have your little arguments, make it up and things like that. So Tommy, brother here, and my father, and Mr. Donnelly Lord, used to go down every Saturday for about three weeks, and we Poor old lady, God knows she only did one little room upstairs. So she couldn't actually, you know, it's only now we realise it, she couldn't do it on her own. But I had, as I said, Tommy and my father and Mr. Tommy, we'd done it, paint this, father put the lights in. And to me, it was Buckingham Palace. I loved it, my heart's blood, loved it, always did. And about 15, 16 years ago, a chap on Friday, in fact, Nancy did ask him what it said. Kitty had died in 1980, I was on my own there. And the, without knowing it, my father used to be real father on his own there. And it became, as you were saying about Dublin, changing. It used to be drunk with sleep outside it. Every night it would win. And you'd have to step over 
near enough to a big white footpath on the opposite lane behind there. And they'd be worried that see me going in on me own and come in and do something. But um, never happened. But uh, he, he bought the house off me and uh, he, he said, I'm not moving out of Francis Street. I loved it. It was quite a little piece of heaven on earth. My God's little acre to me. And uh, he bought me an apartment where I'm living from an apartment down in Francis Street in Lion Court. And I'm there ever since. Like, that's about 10, 12 years ago. And I'm there ever since. So I was very, very, very lucky. And same as Tom has his own house. And uh, we were both very, very in our little sword on two life and marriage and things like that. And never announce it for bread. One little thing that we told. No regrets. You haven't, or you haven't. That's it's, it's sad. Wouldn't have been, had I walked in the brewery, I wouldn't have met Kitty. No, I was only see, that's the way, that's the way things walk out. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was the, the same. And to me, that was... Well, it was the same, Johnny. Do you know, Nick? These things happen, and they're ready for the good or for the bad. And you've all been accepted, but I think, through your life, this is from... It's my self, you. well, I, I, you and I are upset, I it's the same with me with Kathleen, right, the Marsh, you know? Yeah. I was the same. 1940, 1950. There was four fellas, Johnny Bourne, Daddy Hare, Jimmy Reddy, and myself, right, Kathleen. Now, Daddy and, and, and Johnny said, there's a nice guy, remember the app yeah. They were the Frawley Stockets. Frawley's and Hammersley, Frawley's. Still there, but anyway. Uh, he was going with a fella, Jan Ward. Now, I was at the beam of that. Do you remember the, the previous Christmas Eve? Yeah. I was employed at up. Right. And Jan was playing there with the card. Yeah. And I had the match. And I, oh, well, I should have said that. Maybe he's not there. Jan Ward. Anyway, yeah. Uh, and uh, musical chairs, as you say, Mary and the rest of the gang. They're all gone, well done, gone, all gone. But Kathleen, anyway, I don't know who she took a joint and made it. Oh, no, I do. Well, you do, I yeah. know who she took. She was rich. Not well, anyway, she took a joint. She wouldn't have got a better looking man. Very good. Anyway, uh, no, I know how to see anyway. It was if, uh, it was if it's you who saved them. Rather make me days, right? So I was going up to this is true was good. I was going up to had a day full sight with Catlin on a Tuesday. And uh going up and held it in my yard tower the yeah. Jenny coming out of the door. Lived up the top of the balcony, thirty three C and Jan C flats. And we Jan, Jan where the fellow she's gone. And the very thing you said to me, I never said it, you shook hands with me. She told me she said, you're getting a lady there. That's a straight to Christ. Well, I was, what was I? How long was I with her? 45 years and three months later, I'm asking. But ups and downs, like nobody yeah, goes to smell with a rat. But the one thing that I want to brag about, I was a great yeah, footballer and I was a great ring pitcher. Now, you can eliminate grey. But I was average, average But I loved a lot, that and all that. As we are now, but growing up, it wasn't all that. Like, you know what I mean, Jenny? But as I was at the same family side, with, with the, with the plots. With the plots. I have to say, true as God. And Church Hammy would have briefed me. We had a wonderful, wonderful life. See, my dad never ever worked, never. From 14, I retired at 73. Tommy had, was in a real factory. He was a salesman. Yeah, shame. And I never, and couldn't have had a better life. No matter where we were born or who we were with, who we went, didn't, couldn't have had a better life. I wouldn't swap it. With King for a while. No, we wouldn't change More things, Yanni. I wouldn't now. If I had my life, so if I had my life to live over.
I would still do the same things again. I would still love to roam to a place I call home where happiness never would end. I would meet you when school days are over and we'd walk down the lane once we knew if I had my life to live over again I would still fall in love with you Hip hip hooray! Good luck, good luck! Come on, Fallen Champions! Come on, Fallen Champions!